Welcome to uh, the second tutorial for the GoDaddy website builder. Um, in this uh, tutorial, we're going to show you uh, how to get started and how to choose a template. Um, now, GoDaddy actually, uh, uh, the tool is very intuitive. Um, I can I can pick a category, and this is really the starting point. Um, now, these are obviously popular categories: band, IT services, gaming, real estate agent, marketing consultant. Or I could choose something different because you may well not fit one of those uh, predefined uh, uh, options. Um, so, in this instance, I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm a, a, a barber. Um, and uh, if I type in barber, you'll see that there's a range of different options here that might be relevant to me. I'm going to choose Barber and then click on Next. I will give my uh, website a name, Machine Barbers. I can always change this later, so it's really not an issue um, uh, uh, what you call it at this stage. Um, I click on Next. It takes a little while to uh, create the, the, the site for me, but I'm then taken to a, a almost a pre-made site. Um, now, I'm not going to take the tour at this stage. I'm going to continue with this. But if ever you do need next steps, you can just click here, next steps, and, 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 and the uh, website builder uh, uh, will encourage you to uh, do the next thing. Uh, so let's say, got it for the time being. Um, when I'm on this page, I mean, obviously, this has pre populated a website for me. Um, it's made lots of assumptions about what I want and, and how I may want to present myself. Um, but the first thing I would like to do is, is look at the other themes that are relevant and, and available to me. Um, so to do that, I would click on theme. And I can change the color of the site. Um, so I could go for, let's say, a more uh, a brown type option there for the buttons. Um, and that reverts to what it was previously. Um, or I have the option to change fonts. Uh, so there are going to be literally hundreds of different fonts here that you could potentially use. I'm going to give it quite a modern look with the Montserrat font. Um, I can add a secondary font as well if I want. Uh, let's do that. I'll go for cabin. Um, so start to be able to edit the site, but actually I'm not happy with any of these. So I'm going to try a new look. And this will give me uh, different structures uh, uh, to the page. Um, so, so, so you can scroll through these and find something that you think would be relevant for you um, or, or work for your business. Um, but as it is, I think what I'm going to do in this instance is I will go with the slate option. And so I highlight it. And once again, I'm presented with a, a new template. Um, so that is how you, you, you select the template and get started. Um, next, what we will do in part three is we will go to the actual website itself and start to make changes to the page structure. 